I get asked two questions every single day, and that's Stash, what's your favorite NFT game? Or Stash, can you please review my Web3 game? That's how we roll here, and today, I'm going to break down my favorite games in tier list order. We're gonna rank all of them, some of the best and worst in crypto gaming. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today, like I said, we're going to jump in and have a little fun here, and we're gonna do a tier list. We're gonna jump in and we're gonna tier list all of the top Web3 NFT games out there. You guys may or may not agree with this list. You may be surprised at what I'm going to be ranking at what I'm calling the R list, which is the completely wrecked list. R stands for wrecked, and uh, those games are, in my opinion, 100% wrecked, they're not coming back. So we're gonna go and tier list this up. So let's jump over to it and get started because this is gonna be a whole hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> So here is how we're gonna do this. We we have a whole slew of games on here. Now this doesn't represent every single game in the Web3 space, but it is a pretty big list of some games that are very popular, some games that are not so popular, but you know maybe a good game, and some games that were very popular, but something has happened, and you know they're they're definitely just you know going to be in that that R list there. So we have a ranked here from S A B C D and R. R is the worst. S is the best. As our special category, and then we're going on down there. The S is the the cream of the crop. Those are the those are the guys that we know for sure are going to make it. They're the most fun games. They're the ones I enjoy the most. I probably played the most. That's what the S tier is going to be here. And then uh, we're going to go all the way down here to our tiers. Uh, make sure you stick around to see where your favorite one's gonna be. Is. So we're just gonna jump into this. I'm gonna start here with one of, of my absolute S's for sure, and that is the Sandbox. So definitely gonna be putting uh, the Sandbox over in the S category. I mean, this is a top tier project, has a, one of the best teams out there. You guys know I love Sandbox. Been an ambassador since the beginning. I'm working on a Sandbox land. Uh, game too, so on my land, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. What we've already seen from them, what you can already do on their platform in, in comparison to almost every other project out there is pretty amazing when you really look at it in comparison. Now, when you compare it to the rest of the industry, it's got a little ways to go, but that's how most things are on this list. So if you're watching this video, uh, you know that, uh, you know, if you're comparing it to the rest of the industry, we're, we're still working there, but within our own, Here's how we're going down. And the sandbox is definitely there at the top of my list. Now, another one of these uh, that I would say here is, uh, you know, at a pretty big, I mean, you know, it, when it comes down to it, it it's a, a pretty big, uh, you know, decision here, but, uh, you know, got to put this at the top of my list as well. Even though we haven't, it's, it, it's only in a certain playable split state, but uh, got to give big ups to my friends over at Alluvium because they are making one of the best looking crypto games out there. Just saw a trailer for the Alluvatars, looks hot. Um, definitely excited about what they, what the way they've done everything so far. I mean, they've, they've had some trials and tribulations, but, uh, you know, the game that I've seen that I've played, you guys haven't seen that stream, I'm going to be playing Alluvium again here but uh, it, it's, it's, it looks good. And that's just this one little small aspect of the game. So can't wait to do the open world game test, which is gonna be coming up soon. So look for that here on my channel for that Luvium open world play. It definitely in my top tier list here. All right, so next on my list is a game that's been around for a really long time. And um, you know, it is one of those ones where it's, it's an originator. So you gotta give it some credit where credit is due. But uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna have to to put uh, one of the long-standing champions on the Wax blockchain uh, here, uh, Alien Worlds. I'm gonna have to put that at a C. Now, Alien Worlds, had, like I said, has done quite a few things, but they just haven't moved the project along. Uh, I'm so bullish. I like what they've, uh, what, what, how simple they've made things. But you know, they ju they just there's just so much they could have done, and they just have kind of faltered on that. So I would love to move Alien Worlds up in, in categories here in the future. But uh, that's I, I got. I still got to give them some credit where credit is due. But uh, gonna put them at that C rank there because I really think that they just have kind of flubbed a little bit there. All right, let's look at this. If we're, if we're gonna just do it here uh, in, in a little bit of uh, like random of uh, random order, uh, kind of going here from the back. Wolf game. Now I don't know if you guys understand like Wolf game 
I, this is something I saw. It, w w it won an award at NFT NYC apparently for best crypto game. Someone told me that and I was like, what Wolf game? Are, are you talking about that DeFi game? And that's not even really a game, man. And I was kind of confused and I was like, wow, really with the, actually with all the games out there that are pretty good, that's the game that won. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I just gotta say in general, Wolf game to me is not a game. I would not consider this a game in general. It is like a gamified gambling, a little bit more advanced than what you have when you pull the wheel. That's about what I, how I feel about with, with, with Wolf Game. So I'm dumping Wolf Game in the red category. And in my opinion, it's not something I'm touching. If you're a gambler, fine by me, but definitely not the type of game that I want to be playing and uh, definitely looking like, you, you, you know, this is going to be in the red category for me. Not, not a fan. All right, we're going to bounce around. And, you know, here this the, now my next one here is a popular one. Axie Infinity. You guys don't know. You guys know Axie. You can see Axie here. Axie Infinity has been one of the you know top games and people judge all of NFT gaming by this game. But the fact of the matter is, is Axie is a shitty game. I never liked playing Axie. I played it before on stream, but it was never a favorite game. I never really like felt like, man, the gameplay for this game is great. People were playing it because they could earn from it. I liked the concept that they you know, blazed that trail, but you know, I gotta say that they've definitely flopped here over the last year or so, less, less, little less than a year with how they've done things. And while their price was going up, that doesn't mean that they were doing everything right. And we saw that and how detrimental that was for them with a giant hack. I mean, one of the biggest hacks ever, right? Uh, for to, to the Ronin network. So, um, you know, it really just goes to show the fact that Axie Infinity has not put the time into their game or into their community. So because of that, and because of the fact that I don't think Axie is going to make it, I'm putting Axie in the wreck category. It is the number one wrecked game for me. For sure and uh so that's what i'm gonna say you know it, it's just that uh, i know some people may not agree with me on that one uh, i want to see what you guys think about this i'm gonna post a link for all of the for, for this uh you know tier maker here and you'll be able to make your own and i want to see him all right so moving on uh let's just jump here we're gonna ping pong back and forth and the last icon here in the list if you guys don't recognize it i could see I, I wouldn't you know blame you it is a game i played here on stream it's called war riders War Riders is like kind of a, it's like an apocalyptic wasteland and you're, you're driving these souped up cars around that have rockets and guns on them and you're blasting uh, other people on this open world trying to go and mine these crypto miners essentially and you're mining actual crypto in the game that has real world value. And it's actually a pretty fun game. Now they've done some, some, uh, some pretty good upgrades here recently, which is the reason why I'm gonna be putting these guys in the B category uh, I think they're a game that is very undervalued. Now they would get a little bit of a higher tier for me if they were not on Ethereum mainnet. They're on layer one Ethereum. And so it makes it really hard to transact for things uh, for the NFTs in particular uh, for the game. Uh, really waiting for them to get on a layer two solution or move to a different blockchain. So uh, we don't have those problems. So that's that, that would put War Riders to me up into the A or maybe even the S rank if that were the case. Moving on here to uh, a game that just recently came out, and this is a game that I've, I've demoed, and we had a really fun play test, but uh, Big Time. And Big Time is, um, it, it definitely has AAA vibes to me. Now it needs more, and it's obviously just in its alpha state right now. So we, I understand that. We, we get that things are, are, are in alpha, but it's actually really good for what they what they have. They just need to expand on it, I think. And I, I, I need to put some more hours into it, but in particular, big, big Time has become one of uh, the biggest, you know, AAA prospects out of all of the things we've seen so far this year. I think they have a pretty good uh, start on them. And, you know, the fact that they put a emphasis on the co-op stuff, I love that. I love being able to have an emphasis on co-op play. Uh, I just want to see like a, you know, a, a co-op system. Uh, and that would really put it into the S tier for me. But I'm going to actually put Big Time at the A tier. If it had if it had some more things that, that helped with that co-op system, I might be putting it in the A tier. Uh, I think it definitely can make it to the S tier uh, here really soon. So, but fun game. If you love co-op play in particular, definitely check out Big Time. Uh, a lot of fun. And we're going to be playing that more here on the stream uh, because I'll love you to be able to co-op with people once the game is out and open to everybody uh, here and uh, everyone can play. Jumping back to the front uh, or the back of the list here. 
uh, Upland. If you guys, you guys gotta know th this uh, this crazy llama is Upland signature. The thing is with Upland, I, I love the team. I love the fact that they, they they put time into this project, but it is just not something that spoke to me. The gameplay is not something that I really enjoyed. It's not something you can really stream, obviously, which is one of the things reason why you don't see me playing it here. But in general, Upland just didn't grab me. You know, I felt like the way that it kind of worked was not my favorite. Uh, it's not a bad game. It's just it, it's it's a game that doesn't appeal to me. And so you know, in particular, I, you know, I gotta say like, and it, that that also puts in a category of probably not appealing to a lot of other people as well. So it's very limited in its approach. And I would say that you know, there's more that I think Upload can do, and I think they will probably do. But right now, in the stage it's at, I'm tossing this uh, into the C category. So still solid, but just not something that I think you know it, 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 for some reason just didn't click for me. Right. Unlike Alien Worlds, where it's like, you know, if, if they, they had something good going and they just didn't, you know, keep going with it. And it's, they still have something solid, you know, you, you can still earn with Alien Worlds, we, we, you know, still make a little here and there, a little, it's small, which is fine, you know, but you keep ch chipping away at it. And then the next bull market comes around and then you never know, you might have a small little fortune. So uh, the next one on the list here, some people may or may not recognize this, but uh, this is Bynamon. This is the logo for Bynamon here. And Bynamon was a like Pokemon style Axie Infinity clone, if you will rather. And it was one of those ones that was like super hyped up early on and just nothing ever came of it. It was one of those things where it kind of simply, you know, kind of almost rug pulled, you know? And so they, they still have things going on there, but just, you know, it, it, nothing materialized from what they promised. And so, you know, this is one of those, those gaming projects where once again, very hyped, uh, you know, and, and it's at the point where it's simply just wrecked at this point, so. Tossing you in the wreck category there. Sorry, Bonimon, but I don't know if you're going to be able to come back from this. Uh, and in, in general, I think this is going to be one of those projects that just gets swept underneath the rug here over the next couple of years. You know, we, we just don't need any more copycats. All right, jumping to the back of the list. Undead Blocks. Now, this is a game that kind of, I wouldn't say came out of nowhere, but, uh, you know, qu quickly got something out for people to be able to play, which uh, is actually pretty high quality. The graphics of this game are good. The gameplay of it, the, what, what, what you can go in and play right now, which is limited, but simple and is still fun. Even with the, you know, the, the, the limited amount of stuff they have, uh, I still have a, a blast playing it. We, you know, we played it on stream the other day and I, I really enjoyed it. You know, it does get repetitive after a little bit of, of time, like, you know, playing it for hours on stream would be kind of hard. But I think that eventually you get to a point where like, all right, well, you know, what's the goal here? Are we trying to do like a, a speed run? You know, what's what's the deal? Uh, survival with your friends, things like that. I think multiplayer things would be pretty cool. So uh, really excited to see Undead Blocks, uh, you know, and what they're going to be doing. Uh, and I'm going to put Undead Blocks in the B category. So solid game, I think. A lot of good potential. Just needs to uh, add a few more, you know, uh, you know, a, a few more uh, modes and things, obviously, from what they have been just testing. But like I said, right now, super solid. I want, I, I can't wait to move them up. Uh, to like an A category game or, or an S category game here in the future. All right, Blanco's Block Party. Uh, you, you can kind of see the logo here. Blanco's Block Party is one of the most fun games out there. I think they have done some of the best jobs of obfuscating the NFT and crypto layer so people can just jump in. It's free to play. You don't need to know anything about crypto wallets or NFTs. You don't know anything about that. All you need to know is that you can play this game, have fun, and you can earn NFTs. That simple. And then there's like cool things like battle passes where you can earn even more NFTs and then you can sell the NFTs on the marketplace. And, uh, you know, some of these early NFTs in particular are going for a good amount. Now, Blankles is just getting started. So I think that, you know, we've seen uh, things fluctuate up and down. But think about uh, the fact if you could go in there and you could play this game, earn an NFT that you could then, you know, resell for, you know, two bucks. But you got it for free. Not bad. Uh, I love Michael's block party. Love the multiplayer mode and what's going on there. And uh, it, it definitely, for me, it hits that S category rank. Like I guess to me, it is, it is one of by far the best games that we've seen in crypto. All right. Uh, now here back at the list, Thaden Arena, this logo right here, this, this blue logo is the logo of Thaden Arena. Now, this is a game that had super high hopes and, you know, they were very kind of sketchy about their tokenomics, about how it was going to work. And then when it came out, it turned out the tokenomics just weren't working. Now, the fact of the matter is, is that what they built is actually a pretty fun mobile game. I want to rank them higher than than uh, that I'm going to right here right now. But the fact of the matter is, is because they really just botched the tokenomics and screwed a lot of people. I really just, to me, it, it makes me have to want to put them and rank them lower. 
And so for Thanet Arena, if you guys don't know, it's a MOBA style game. And like I said, fun game, you know, and so the, for that, like it, I, I almost want to put them in the B, but I really, I think that they're going to end up being a C. I, I'm, I'm really, I'm a little torn, man. I'm a little torn. I think, I think I'm going to have to put them in the C category just because the way that they handled the tokenomics really didn't work. And, uh, you know, it, it, it was, it was some clear things they should have seen from the get go, which they really didn't put a lot of thought into, which you could tell. And they try to backpedal and it really just, you know, killed the, 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 the fun and vibe of the game is what I would say. So I'm, I'm going to throw Theta and Arena in at the C category. Now, next on my list is a game that is as much as I want to say it's a game right now, it really isn't. And that's one of the things that, you know, sucks because it's one of the more successful projects on the Wax blockchain, but it's blo uh, blockchain brawlers. You can see right here, this uh, this B uh, logo here is blo uh, blockchain brawlers. And the idea and the look behind the game are actually really cool. But the fact of the matter is, is that they just didn't, they really haven't executed with, you know, this vision of getting to a full actual game. It's one of those clickers where you just kind of put your things, you're staking it in a certain way, and then you're getting results, things like that. So I really can't give them a, a, a great ranking here. And so uh, I think that we're going to have to actually put these, you know, this game here into the D category. I want to give them like a C or a B with the game because the look is pretty good, but there's no actual gameplay there, you know? And so like Alien Worlds, like they still, they, they haven't even delivered as much as Alien Worlds, you know, as far as gameplay goes. And so the look is there, so a little bit better, but haven't delivered on the gameplay. And I, you know, that for that, I, I, I'm going to have to drop them in the D category. They're a D for me. All right, jumping to the back of the list here in this category, you just see this ER, that's that's uh, the logo for Superior. And Superior is a game from Gala Games. This is a rogue light shooter. And the reason for that is because you have some sort of progression, right? That's I think the, the defining line. But Superior is actually a really fun game. When I played this game, man, I was blown away. I was like, man, this is one of the best crypto games out there, man. And, and when I when I was playing it, I forgot that it was a Web3 based game. And I just had fun and I was like, man, and, and it was just a demo. Like it's not even a full level. And I was having fun just with that. So the fact of the matter is, is that Superior is one of the more fun crypto games I played, and I'm at, I'm gonna pop it actually into the, the S rank. It's getting an S, man. I, I really love what they did there, and you know, with, with you know, not only the look of the game has a really distinct feel and look to it, but the gameplay was solid, and like the the character animations and and dialogue was really fun and smooth too. And so these are things we haven't seen from a, a, a company yet. So Gala Games has a winner here with Superior. And it's hitting one of my S ranks here. And, and the only Gala game, uh, the only Gala game to, to make it today. Looking at the top of the list here, this is a game that I had a little bit of a high, more high hopes for, but uh, the chicken here, standing for Chicken Derby, was a game that I thought was going to be out a little bit sooner. It seemed it was, seemed like a very simple, straightforward game to develop, and it's taken a lot longer development than I would have liked. Now they are coming along with the game, and uh, so there is that. But the fact of the matter is, is that they're taking a little bit too long, and so because of that, I, I'm I, you know I, the game was simple enough. I thought, hey, this could be a fun, simple, simple game, but I think they've just gotten to a point where they're not maybe focusing on the game development or something that they are doing is not working out right with their team. I'm going to drop Chicken uh, Derby into the D category as much as I don't want to because I do have quite a few investments, quite a few NFTs for Chicken Derby. I thought it'd be fun to be racing these things and be able to do it on stream. And it just the game hasn't gotten to a point where it makes sense to be doing this right now, the way they have it uh, and, and you know the way it runs. It's, it, it doesn't run smooth enough. Uh, with the amount of actual races you can get in, how quickly you can get into them. It's just not hitting it for me. Okay, next on my list here is a pretty heavy hitter. At the back of our list here is Star Atlas. This A right here uh, is the logo for Star Atlas. And this is definitely a, a top tier game. You know, the way it's been built, the look that it's given, all the, the you know, the things that they've kind of, you know, said they're going to be doing here as a game really make it a top tier AAA game that they're going to be building. Think of like Star Citizen, but with NFTs. And that's essentially what is what is going on here. And so I think uh, Star Atlas, while they've got a slow start, I think that they still have what it takes to make a really killer game. And, uh, you know, because of that and what we've seen so far with some of the recent stuff that have come out from their recent Copa event, I really do think that the, the amount of time that they're taking to make this game is going to make it worth the wait. So I'm going to put Star Atlas uh, in the A category for me. Uh, it's, it's a game that I know I want to play. I look at it like I want to play that game. You know, not just like, oh, all right, this will be fun to do on stream or this will be fun to, you know, jump in every once in a while. Like Star Atlas to me 
is a game that I would spend countless hours playing. And if they can deliver, which I, 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 I think they can, I think they can. I know it's a long road, but I think that if they do it in the right kind of way and, and stages and keep the quality up, I do think that they can deliver on this game here in the long term. But we just we're going to have to be patient. And I knew that from the, the beginning. I would not have invested in a project like this if I didn't, you know, be, if I was not comfortable with a five year time span on this, you know, uh, you know, development of this game. Still bullish on Star Alice and going to my A category. But the reason why they didn't make S, we'll say, is because of the fact that, you know, it is a long term thing and there's no gameplay right now, you, you know, and they have kind of stalled a little bit on getting some of the things out that they should have. So, uh, but still, uh, still ranking A, still ranking the main. All right, uh, jumping here to uh, the front of the list. And this is a logo you guys probably don't recognize, but from a game that I actually have a, 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 a really a good time playing. And I don't like a lot of mobile games, but it's called Cryo War. And it's a game we reviewed here on the channel before. It's a mobile based battle arena, mobile MOBA style game. And it has a little bit of cool different elements to it. NFT enabled, right? Blockchain enabled, which is pretty cool. I got to, I've got to play this. It's not out to the general public, but I've got to play to this, this game. And I got to, I have to put it on the list here. Uh, typically, I try and do things that are, 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 you know, people have already played that can be played right now. That's what this re list is really about. Uh, but this game right now, even though it's not open to everybody, I, I got to put Cryo War here. Here's the logo for Cryo War. I got to give Cryo War a B because I think they've done a solid job on you know making a fun mobile game that is rewarding they don't have tokenomics in there where the bunch of play to earn stuff to kind of ruin it you know like i said uh, state and arena has also a fun mobile game to play i think which they did a good job on but the tokenomics kind of ruined it right from the get-go and so that kind of puts a sour taste in my mouth and otherwise they may be in that b category too there with uh with the uh, crowd war so you guys know you guys know i'm not the biggest mobile gamer i i still can i still can appreciate mobile very mobile focused games or games that work well in mobile i definitely think crowd war has more of long long-term potential than i can see with uh with so far what I've seen with Fate and Arena. All right, jumping to the back of the list here is Splinterlands, that big old open mouth. It's gonna get you. Ah. Splinterlands is one of my most favorite games. I play the game every week and I have a guild in Splinterlands. I guess maybe I'm a little biased, but when we're ranked, I gotta rank my favorite games. And Splinterlands, you guys know it, it's an S rank. I, I, I'm not even gonna waste time there. Splinterlands is one of the most fun games. Love playing it and I uh, really enjoy having a lot of, you know, Splinterlands and everything that uh, comes with this kind of like fast paced card game. Kind of not not like anything you've played with other CCGs or TCGs. So a lot of fun. Definitely check that out if you haven't checked it out. All right. So when we talk about games totally wrecked, uh, this this one right here, Crypto Blades was a game that people hyped up super uh, a, a ton and there was a ton of people playing it at one point and then they just completely bombed the entire economy. It didn't take that long. It was one of those games where it was like super hype. People were playing it for a while and then boom the economy just erupted and exploded and then they try to come back with some other stuff like crypto like kingdom and it just it just, it just totally failed right so they're a completely wrecked project and uh down with crypto blades but i gotta put them on there as one of the most wrecked projects out there because they definitely screwed me and a bunch of other people over another one that's going in uh, uh one of my lower categories here is DeFi kingdoms this gem right here uh the, the, you know it was a game that was doing really well but uh they had a big hack and that hack kind of resulted in, in their currency being in uh you know inflated in, in a massive way and uh you know it kind of killed their game so D DeFi kingdoms even though it was more a little more on the DeFi side than i would like for a game it did have a lot of gamification and game that you could play and uh you know but but that that hack just kind of wrecked it for me and so now i gotta i gotta toss it into that d category because otherwise um you know it's not fully wrecked at this point but it, it could come back all right next on my list here is a game that i actually really really enjoy playing a lot and it's spider tanks this is a great moba from gala games on the gala games platform um and uh it is a, a, a fun moba. we played it a bunch on the stream we're gonna be playing it a bunch more here coming up so definitely saddle up but spider tanks is a fun one that i really enjoy and uh it, it's gonna make my a list it doesn't get all the way to to s tier uh just because i think that they could have i think that they, they could end up with issues with some of their tokenomics i don't think it's a major issue but i think that in the long run uh you know with how gala is running and uh, if they don't get over on the gala chain here soon there could be some major issues with spider tanks in the way that they do play to earn rewards and they just uh, distribute stuff on the on the platforms but still solid game love playing it i think there's a few things they, they need to work through 
but Spider Tank's a solid game. Definitely look forward to playing it more on the channel. Let me know if you guys lo love MOBAs. All right, next one up is Forge Arena. So right here, Forge Arena. Uh, Forge Arena has been a favorite standout. This is an FPS game on the Wax blockchain, and it has been a ton of fun playing. You know, one of those games where you just jump in and you're like, oh man, I have a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, it's simple, it's straightforward, but you can spend hours doing it. You know, just having fun, going back and forth, back and forth with teammates. So Forge Arena, a ton of fun. And one of those games that is going to make my A tier. You know, I've, I've actually had a lot of fun playing Forge Arena with people. It's one of the best FPSs, like, like true FPSs on the blockchain that I've played so far. And the NFTs are easy to get. They're cheap, which is great. They're on the Wax blockchain, so it makes it super fast. You buy them, boom, they're in your account. You can skin your guns and you're ready to go. And that's the only, and that's it, you know, and it makes it fun. And then you can jump in and play uh, some death matches. Forge Arena, a lot of fun, and uh, it goes in my A category. Uh, next on my list here is a game that, you know, is supposed to be, be a little bit more further developed by now, but it's Soul Chicks. I played this game on my stream and we had some fun with it. But the fact of the matter is, is that Soul Chicks just really didn't deliver on the game like they were going to so far. And we haven't really heard much from the team on what's going on with the development of the game and things have been kind of up in the air. Token price has, has been down obviously. And so, you know, it, I, I just can't give them more than a D at this point. I don't think that Soul Chicks has really taken it to the level they need to, to, you know, be the game that, that they should be for the amount of money they've raised and where they're at right now. Uh, as a studio so maybe they could but you know like i said I, I would love to move them up in rank because i think that they have a game that could be fun and interesting uh fun for kids to play too uh you know because the characters and avatars are super cute and you know it's kind of a you know has that kind of cuteness you know factor to it where you're going around and it has a little bit of like old school final fantasy to it kind of feel too which is kind of fun so i think there could be something there but at this point, that we just haven't seen materialized. All right, now next on my list here is Gods Unchained. This is you guys know this is one of my favorite games, and Gods Unchained is you know a TCG uh, that is the first to do you know a major card game where you owned your cards that was really successful, and they have uh, done some really great things, and they're one of the OG games, like one of the OG crypto games. Now I'm, I, I gotta say. I balance between this being an S tier game and being an A tier game. I don't know what you guys think, man, but like I, 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 I'm, I'm struggling with it. Like, is it A tier or is it really S tier? Like, I feel like it should kind of be S tier, but then at the same time, I mean, there are some things about it where I'm like, hey, you know, these things should maybe be fixed by now, or you know, some issues that I've, I've, I've had and stuff like that. But they, you know, I mean, they've done a lot of stuff recently. I, I'm gonna have to drop them S tier. I was gonna put them at A tier, but you know what? Gods Unchained is just one of those OGs for me. They have done such a great job. And then the fact that they have Immutable X as well as a company, I think that, that uh, you know, that's going to go a long way. And so I'm dropping the mess here. They're getting my ass here. Next up is Phantom Galaxies. Phantom Galaxies is a fun one. And one, like I said, that kind of came out of nowhere. It was a game that was kind of almost finished and they added some NFT functionality to it and they've continued to do so as they're rolling the game out, which I think is a lot of fun. It's a space MMO and uh, there's already a pretty good story bring, which I think is pretty fun just in these like pre-story chapters. So far, I mean, I gotta say, Phantom Galaxies is tops for me. Out of all these games, I've had a lot of fun play playing Phantom Galaxies and I feel like they've, uh, you know, really can compete with the rest of the top tier games here. So Phantom Galaxies is definitely a top tier S game. It's I think it's got to be it's, I think it's the last game on the list out of the rest here for sure. But uh, I, I got to give it that top tier. I got to give it that top tier. All right. Next on the list here is Pegaxi. Now, Pegaxi is one of those games where it's just like, you know, come on, you know, it, it just didn't meet the, uh, it, you know, they, they said that they were going to have something more going. They really haven't got anything else. Uh, token prices slumped. We haven't seen development from the team or any kind of real big updates and it just it just has you know remained an idle clicker at this point so i'm gonna have to drop into the d category i would say at this point it's maybe not fully wrecked as a game but it's very damn close i almost want to drop it into the wreck category ah, but I, I i think there might be some hope for pegaxi i hope that they get you know their shit together and they can get you know a little something more going with an actual racing game where you can it's visual you can see it Otherwise, some other games may catch up to them before they get there, uh, but maybe still some hope for Pegasus. Now, uh, here on my list on the on the end here, this is Panzer Dogs. I don't know if you guys saw me play this game on stream, but it's an actually pretty fun to play a little like tank shooter game where you're going around with your little NFT tank with your little NFT driver and you have uh, you, you can you have team battles. And you're going around just trying to essentially, you know, capture the flag and uh, go around and smash on the other people's tanks and hold points at, at certain things. And it, it, it's it's actually a lot of fun. I actually had a lot of fun playing Panzer Dogs. If you guys haven't seen me play it on stream, I only did it once, uh, but go check it out. 
And so I got, actually, I got to give Panzer Dogs a B out of out of all the things you know that that uh, you know could uh, like jolted up there. The, the, it's not the graphics; it's the gameplay. You know, the gameplay is actually a lot of fun, and they've done a good job of like rolling out the NFTs and the way they did it. And like uh, initial adopters got a free tank, and you know, so I, I think that even though it's a simple game, they're doing a good job of rolling it out. Unlike Thane and Arena, which didn't do a good job of rolling it out. Uh, and even though it's you know also a fun game too, but but Panzer Dog is one of those ones that's surprisingly fun, and you can go play. I can see p tons of people playing this game, and it's just one of those simple fun games that uh, are is easy to get started, takes almost no knowledge, and you can play it mobile too, which which uh, is is pretty cool too. All right, uh, one of the last three here is uh, Mirror Four. Now Mirror Four is one of those ones that uh, you know for me just like I, I had a lot of high hopes for it. But it just did. It just hit, didn't hit the mark. There was too much auto battling and auto questing and auto everything in this game. And so, it, you know, it, I, I guess maybe some people like that. And then the, the way you like earn in the game is kind of weird and funky and it was easily gainable. And so, you know, for that, like I got to drop Mirror 4 into the D category. I was going to drop it into the C, but honestly, I, I think that this game just goes into the D category for me. It was one of those games where I feel like it, they, it was a bulky addition. They didn't do NFTs and crypto right in the game. And so it, it just didn't come off for me as a fun game you know another okay so lost relics is an og and you know they deserve the respect they've been around for a very long time one of the very first crypto games and they've been doing it for a long time it's a one-man development team and that i gotta respect but the fact of the matter is there's a lot of things they just haven't been able to uh, enable which in particular multiplayer was something we were waiting for way too long and uh, the game just has not moved along as much as i would have liked i still like what lost rugs have done but I, I you know i gotta say that they just they've kind of lost a little bit of faith in me to be able to make it a game that is going to be a long-term game uh, so i gotta put lost rugs in the c category i i would love to move them up to b or to a even but long term right now i'm just not seeing it happen you know but Cliff is a, is a beast and things could change. All right, last but not least on our list is Mini Royale Nations. And Mini Royale Nations is actually a pretty fun game. This It's a it's a fun game to play and uh, you can jump in. It's super easy. You don't need to like have any knowledge, you know, account even and just jump in and start playing. Similar to Panzer Dogs, like that's what it felt like to me. And so I have a lot of fun playing it. I got to put it on the same tier. It, it definitely gets a solid B for me. And it's one of those fun games that, you know, you just can easily jump in. You don't really have to need to know anything about NFTs or crypto, but then it's there and you can use them for skins, which is pretty cool. And I have some cool legendary skins there, which the team hooked up. And, uh, you know, I actually just have fun playing it with and the multiplayer aspect playing with you guys makes it even more fun. Boom. There we go. Crypto stashes tier list for the top Web3 NFT games. This is it. Is your did your list? Did it make the list? Is your game here? If not, let me know. I want to hear in the comments below. Uh, but thank you guys. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, dash that crypto, friends.